Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us again for another devotion from Wisconsin Lutheran Chapel. We're so happy that you've joined us and, and again, pray that, that the encouragement from God's Word fills your heart and your life. The Bible passage I would like to talk to you a little bit about today comes from Matthew chapter 20. We're going to read verse 16. There it says this, So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Those are interesting words from Jesus, aren't they? Several of you that are like me cheer for a certain football team that this past week took a pretty big hit in the rankings. After a missed field goal at the end of the game, they dropped precipitously in the college football poll. Not sure exactly what's going to happen, but it's disappointing that our Badgers are no longer in the top 10 and now they have a long climb to get back into the college football playoff picture. It's kind of how the Christian life is, isn't it? As Christians, we have still this innate, this inborn part of us that constantly wants to be at the top. This idea of last being first and first being last, that certainly doesn't come naturally to us. As Jesus says these words, it, it, it kind of hurts our ears and, and goes against everything that society stands for. Since when is someone who's last put in first place. I certainly don't think the college football playoff committee is going to take the worst team in the country and put them in the national championship tournament. And yet this is, exact, this is exactly how Jesus wants you and I to think. It's exactly how you and I want to act. You see, that attitude of selflessness, that attitude that includes a servant's heart, the attitude of putting others before ourselves, that's reflecting our Savior. That comes from faith in the Savior who loved us so much that he gave himself for us. The Gospel of Mark tells us this about Jesus. He did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. That's what Jesus was willing to do for you. That's what he was willing to do for me, to, to give his own life so that you and I could live. And now as we think about how we can serve our Lord, who's done that for us, Jesus says these words. If you want to be first, first be last. And then the last will be first, Jesus says. So put others first. Wake up every day and think to yourself, who does God have in my life that I can serve today? How can I be selfless? How can I be Jesus to someone else? And then trust that your Savior will take care of the results. The last will be first, and the first will be last, Jesus said. Follow your Savior's example and put others before yourselves. Thank you for joining us again for this devotion time. We'll see you next week.